Hi everyone, my name is Mae Park. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this clean and simple one layer card using Hello Sunshine stamp set. Before I start, I want to share a quick preview of alternate November release. There are three floral mini stamps and this will allow you to create various floral arrangements, focal points, and backgrounds. These are label love stamps set in four different languages, Italian, French, German, and Spanish. This is the Adoyo stamp set I designed for Altenew. With hand-drawn floral images and elegant sentiments, this delicate set of peony flowers has many elements that can be used to build gorgeous floral designs. You can color them with various coloring mediums Simply stamp them to create beautiful patterns or use them in emboss resist technique. Or you can try stamping and embossing on vellum to create a soft look. Inspired by coloring book pages, this Hello Sunshine stamp set has many elements that can be used to build your own backgrounds or patterns. Whether you leave them as outline images or color them in, these stamps will provide endless possibilities for any projects. This is the Happy Dreams stamp set. Not only can you use this set for New Year cards, but you can also get creative and use it for any themes like a graduation, encouragement, and congratulations with a mix and match sentiment options. Now I'm going to turn on some music and show you the rest of the November release. And I'll be back soon. So these are my favorite stamp sets from Alternate November release. This gave me so many card making ideas and I sketched out a few designs to plan out my cards. It's a pity that I don't have time to make all of them today. However, I'll make sure to share a card making video soon using the Adoyo stamp set and watercolors. For today's video, I'm going to use the Hello Sunshine stamp set. As you can see on my sketchy, I drew some circle frame, but I decided to create an oval frame because I want to use the images in the set as many as possible. I'm starting off by trimming my white cardstock into 4 and a quarter inch 5 and a half inch using Timor's paper trimmer. This trimmer is one of my favorite paper crafting tools. It cuts paper like butter. You can stamp your images directly on the A2 size top folding card if you want to. However, I'll stamp the images on the panel first and adhere the stamped panel on the card base later. Just because I want to make sure that my stamping surface is flat so I won't make any mistakes on stamping. I'm going to draw an oval shape on my paper using a pencil and oval frame die from Pretty Pink Posh. If you don't have this die, you may draw the oval frame yourself. It's okay not to be perfect because you are going to erase it eventually. So here I'm using my mini misty stamping tool today because I want to stamp several images at once to save my time. Mini misty comes with two magnets to hold the paper in place. However, I love to use washi tape to secure my paper instead. I'm pulling out two sentiment stamps from the Hello Sunshine stamp set and place them on my paper. I'm using a T-square ruler to align my stamps in straight. I'm inking up the stamps with the first fine onyx black ink and stamping the sentiments on the paper. When you build your floral arrangement or background, it's always good to plan out the placement first, so you know where you want your images to be positioned. 
So here I have a cheese seed and I'm going to use this as my stamping guide. After placing my stamps on my paper, I'm stamping the images with alternate black ink. I'm going to stamp the same images one more time on post notes and I'm cutting them out using scissors to create masks. I'll mask off the images and keep stamping along the pencil line. Masking technique is a great way to add some dimension to your project by simply overlapping your images, especially when you make a one layer card. One of the benefits of using clear stamps is that you can bend your stamps to adjust your images as you want. So here I'm bending my stamps to fit in the oval frame. Now I'm going to turn on some music and speed up the process. I'll be back once I'm done stamping. I finished my stamping, I'm going to remove the mask and erase the pencil line. Now it's time for coloring. Here is my collection of coping markers and I store them in a plastic container. This is a book called Print and Pattern. I often find color inspiration from this book besides Pinterest. Let me show you quickly what's inside the book. Is my color picking process. Once I choose the image from the book, I pick three main colors from the image and I pull out three coping markers that match the colors I chose. Then I start choosing additional colors that go with main colors. They happen to be in shades of main three colors in this case. If you use alternate black ink for stamping like I did in this video, Make sure to dry your stamped images first before you color them with coping markers to prevent from ink bleeding. Otherwise, I recommend you to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink or Heroes Intense Black Ink. I'm not going to do any fancy shading or blending to color my images. Because I want my flower images to look simple, not realistic, to enhance the graphic look. Now I'm going to turn on some music and speed up the coloring process so you can enjoy watching me color. and colored outside of your images, you can remove the color by using Copic Colorist Blender. I'm mounting my colored panel on an a 2 size top folding card using glue tape. You can stop here if you want to. However, there are a few ways to add some interest and details on your one layer card. Here I'm adding dots on some of my flowers using Uniball White Gel Pen and I'll be applying some Ink of Stella Glitter Clear Brush on my images to add some shimmer. I'm finishing up my card by adding some black dots around the four lists using a black pen. This video is part of the alternate November release blog hub. Make sure to check out my blog for more details and I hope you can join this inspirational blog hub. Don't forget to enter giveaways to win prizes from alternate. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye bye!